pro-Russian separatists in Ukraine say they have evacuated their eastern stronghold of Slovyansk a middle large-scale offensive by the military. Defense Minister Valery Helady said the Ukrainian flag was flying over the city council building. Separatist leaders said fighters had relocated in the face of the army's overwhelming numerical superiority. Ukrainian forces launched an offensive against the separatists this week after a 10-day ceasefire broke down. The BBC's David Stern in Kiev says the military's capture of Slovyansk, where the eastern insurgency began in April, is a major victory for the government. Surrendering Slovyansk's rebel-backed mayor, Vladimir Pavlenko, confirmed to agents France Press News Agency that the separatists had left. Alexander Burdai, prime minister of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, said on a rebel website, due to the overwhelming numerical superiority of the enemy our men were forced to abandon their positions. The Associated Press quoted rebel spokesman, Andrei Pergin as saying the army offensive had left the town in ruins. Another rebel commander told AP the fighters were moving to the town of Kermitersk. Witnesses said there was bombing overnight in Slovyansk and in the morning the rebel man checkpoints had been abandoned. Interior Minister Arsen Avakov earlier said on Facebook that the rebels were suffering losses and surrendering after leaving Slovyansk and being met by Ukrainian forces. Mr. Avakov said some intelligence suggests that the military commander of the self-declared Donetsk People's Republic, DPR, Igor Strelkov, was among those leaving. The commander, whose real name is Igor Gurkin, is accused by Ukraine's government and the European Union of being a Russian military intelligence officer.